after the destruction of the second Death Star. The Imperial High Command has thrown out the original plan put in place by Emperor Palpatine to ensure the continuation of the Empire. The powers that be have seen to it that all remaining high-ranking officials and officers of the Empire know that a new day will begin for the regime. Admiral Garrick Versio has been given a list of some of the most important orders, killing the Rebellion's most prominent leaders in retaliation of the Death Star. His military might will come in handy for such a task, which includes the likes of the infamous Inferno Squad, led by his own daughter, Commander Aiden Versio. After meeting with her aboard his Star Destroyer, the Dauntless, he has given the Commander her squad's first mission following the death of Palpatine, which is killing Admiral Akbar, who is being lured into a trap as they speak. As Aiden returns to the Corvus, she informs her fellow squad mates, Gideon Hask and Del Miko, where their mission will take them. They all gather around a hollow table that displays an image of the shipyards that orbit over the planet of Fondor. Aiden gives out the mission orders, which seem simple enough. Her and Hask will main TIE fighters once Akbar has arrived, and Miko will continue to operate the Corvus. Once everyone understood their mission, they shipped out to Fondor. The wait for the rebels to arrive was long, but once the laser servo struck the whole of the facility, Imperial personnel scrambled into their battle positions. Aiden and Gideon rushed to their TIE fighters while the battle erupted around them. Aiden kept her cool during the entire ordeal, only focusing on objectives that she saw needed to be done. It was here that a relay had been received from her father from the Dauntless. Commander Vestia, we have received word that Admiral Akbar is not on board that ship, but it may hold valuable information as to the whereabouts of other rebel leaders. I suggest you find a way on board that ship and get that information. Aiden was quick to accept the order, but managed to hide her disappointment in Akbar not being present. Maybe he knew something about this. Did he know this was a trap? She responds with an affirmative as she informs her squad that she's preparing to board the vessel. She enters and goes on a tear, ripping apart any rebel forces that stand in her way. Soon she finds herself in a room filled with terminals and activates her joy to splice any information they could find. Once she had what they needed, Aiden makes it clear that it's time to destroy this rebel incursion. She informs the Star Destroyer being commanded by Moff Raiden to destroy what remains of the rebel cruiser. He turns the turbo lasers so they aim at the Moon Kala vessel sending a barrage of laser fire that rips it out of the orbit. Aiden returns to the Corvus, visibly unpleased with what has transpired. How could the Admiral have known this was a trap? Was it past experience or did something else warn him? It was then that her father had another message, but he did not send this through the holonet. Instead, it was Agent Miko. He was afraid that someone would hear what he was about to tell his daughter. He informed Aiden that through the data they had collected, they found that an Imperial had alerted the rebellion of their plans. And it wasn't just this, but across the galaxy this problem was occurring. From the dealings with Admiral Ray Sloan to the operations taking place on Jakku, the Rebellion had gained a seat at the Imperial table without anyone knowing. Aiden turned to Miko, wondering if he knew who the traitor was. He paced his answer, worried that Aiden would feel hesitation when she learned the name. It's Protector Gleb, Commander Vessio. He eased back a little, but Aiden thought back to the time she spent under the Protectorate, and how she was treated during her time spent with her before she was sent to infiltrate what remained of Saw Gerrera's rebels shortly after the destruction of the first Death Star. She had a smirk ease on her face as she turned to ask where the target was. She's isolated herself on Vados. It might have swayed Imperial forces to fight for her. Aiden grabbed her helmet, only telling Gideon has to set course for Vados. This has been part two of What Did the Empire Won the Galactic Civil War series, Part 3 will be uploaded next week, but stay tuned as one episode, one ifs, will be coming throughout the week. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that like button and share with your friends to get them in on the conversation as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Marauders Guild for more content just like this. Until the next time, may the force of others be with you.